Hi guys, this lesson is going to show you how to work with reoccurring decimals using algebraic proof. Now, this is most likely going to be on a higher paper, but who knows, they could put it on a foundation, but we'll see. So all it's doing, proof, is just showing us how we got the answer. So for example, the first question says, prove algebraically that the reoccurring decimal 0 0.6 can be written as 2 over 3. So it's telling us the answer, and the answer is 2 over 3. So we need to sort it all out, work out all the steps, and if we've done it correctly, our answer will be 2 over 3. So I've started with putting 0 0.6 reoccurring into decimal format, Remember that this is reoccurring or a dot, whatever it is, is telling us that it's reoccurring and it comes out at 0 0.6666 reoccurring and the dots are endless. First thing we need to do is find the unknown. We're going to call the unknown x, why not? So x equals 0 0.6666. Now I need to get this 6 over the decimal place before I can solve this question. And to do that, I'm going to multiply it by 10. So it now becomes 6.6666. And it's 10x because we times it by 10x. Now we've got to subtract. I'm going to subtract our original x from 10x. Now if you do that, we're going 6 minus 6 is 0, cancel out, cancel out, cancel out, and 6 minus 0 is obviously 6. 10 minus x is 9. So we've solved that part of the question. So now we need to divide by 9, and then we need to simplify it. We simplify 6 over 9 by dividing by 3, which gives us x over 3. Therefore, you have proved that 0 0.6 recurring equals 2 over 3 as a fraction. Now, that's not that difficult, is it? People get confused because there's like algebraically a big word in it, reoccurring decimal, fraction. It's not. Just take it step by step and use your knowledge of algebra to solve it. The next one, prove algebraically that the reoccurring decimal 0.27 can be written as 3 over 11. The only thing that's different here is the reoccurring stops here. So there's two numbers behind the decimal place. Now, that was one, one decimal place, and we times it by 10. So what do we do? When there's two numbers behind, we multiply it by 100. And that's exactly what I've done. So the original I've written out as here, 0 0.272727, and I've multiplied it by 100 to remove the reoccurring decimal. So now I have 100x equals 27.272727. So now I'm going to subtract the original. So 100x minus x is 99x. Subtract all of this. Cancel it all out. Leaves us with 27. Now we divide by our 99 and simplify it by dividing by 9, which is 9 into 27 goes 3 times, and 9 into 99 goes 11, and that's it. So you have proved that 0 0.27 recurring does in fact equal 3 over 11. And then finally, prove algebraically that the recurring decimal 0 0.43 can be written as 13 over 30. So this is slightly different. And then finally, 
prove algebraically that the recurring decimal 0.43 can be written as 13 over 30. So once again, we've got a different reoccurring number and it's at the very end here. So we've got to do a slightly different, well, another step. So let's find our x. x equals 0.43333. And if you remember, our little dot is there on the 3. So first of all, I want to move over that 4. So I'm going to multiply by 10 to move the decimal over. So I now have 10x equals 4 point reoccurring 3333. Now to move that decimal place over, I'm going to times it by 100. And it's not 10 again, it's 100 because I've moved it over twice. Now I know that might be confusing to some, but if you look at my other videos on uh, recurring decimals, you will understand it. So now I have 100x equals 43.333, subtract 10x equals 4.3333. So now I have 90x equals 39. And the reason it's 39 is because we've cancelled those out. And then we have three, out, three take away four that you can't do. Carry the three, one leaves us with three. 13 over four gives us nine and three in its own gives us three. So now we have X equals 39 divided by 90 and I've simplified that down and we have 13 over 30. I divided that by, yeah, it would have been three to get that, pop that there. So we have 0.43 reoccurring can be written as 13 over 30. So we have proved that the answer is correct. So as I said, this is the only one where there's a slight difference that you might get confused on. Um, but you can play around with it. You could even do, well, if it's only by 10, you won't be able to subtract it correctly. So play around with it. Uh, and you'll understand it. On my website, I have this video up with a work long worksheet that has other questions like this with the answers with step-by-step -step solutions. So practice away, guys. Bye-bye.